Hi everyone, creatives, illustrators, graphic designers, and newbies. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be going through the process of getting your design print ready. We'll be using Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have Illustrator, you can skip to our quick fix at the end of the video. To skip a few additional steps, you can download our sticker app swatches for your cut lines and the white layers. You can find those in the link in our description. Also in our description, you will find other links to the different parts of this tutorial. First of all, we need to make sure that your design is set to CMYK color mode and not RGB. RGB is for your screen, CMYK is for your print. If you have downloaded our swatches, you can find them under swatches, open swatch library, click on other library, Find the file sticker app swatches.ase and click open. If your design is against a white or a transparent background, our editor will design the perfect cut line for you. Otherwise, if your design is set against a colored background, then we'll need to create a cut line. This is done in Adobe Illustrator by making an outline set to a specific spot color. Let's start by duplicating the layer containing our design. Go to Pathfinder and Unite, then Object, Path, Offset Path by at least 1 8 of an inch, and make sure the joins are round. Set the color to have no fill and make a new swatch for the stroke. Name it Die Cut and make it a spot color set to pure magenta by making it 100%. Place the cut line on top of everything else and you're good to go. With so many materials to choose from, the effects for your stickers are endless. In order for the material to show, we need to create an effect layer. If you haven't downloaded our swatches, you will need to create your own spot color. The spot color has to be named HPI-white and set to equal parts of 25 before ticking the overprint fill in the attribute box. Let's start by duplicating the layer containing our design. Select all within the effect layer and go to Pathfinder and Unite, then Object, Path, and Offset Path by desired amount and make sure the joins are round. Any part of your design that is not covered in the gray effect will let the effect shine through your design. In this case, we want the yellow jumpsuit to have the effect of the material underneath. By selecting all the yellow parts, copying them and pasting them in place and on top of the effect layer, we can cut out the shape by selecting all within the layer and go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. And we're done with our effect layer. If you're making more than one, you can use our custom cut line shortcut. Make sure the sticker app swatches are loaded correctly, then go to actions load actions and find the action pack named sticker app dash actions then simply run the cut line script by pressing play when prompted name the layer cut line and enter desired offset do the same for the effect layer by playing the effect action and voila Make sure the overprint fill is checked and arrange the layers in the correct order by having the design at the bottom, then the effect layer and the cut line on top. Once the sticker app action is installed, all you need to do is to run the script. So here's the quick fix. You actually don't need to do any of this with the sticker app because we'll do it for you. Simply add your desired effect as a comment in the editor when uploading your design and we'll take care of the rest. Thanks for using Sticker App. Hey guys, and while I have you here, don't forget to subscribe, like our video, comment anything that you want to ask us, and sharing is caring, so share with your friends.